Hey YouTube, here's just a quick video, a uh, real quick video. Um, so when I got this uh, shredder, the bolts to put that guard on were um, on the inside and it's a pain in the ass to reach in and it's tough because you have to reach in and, and get stuff. These two are not bad, but this one over here was brutal. And one of the things I like on certain, um, certain tractors, certain things when certain attachments and stuff is when they weld the nuts in but obviously there's you know there's not a nut in here and it, i guess it's meant to do that but i always thought like hey can you have a hollow wall anchor type nut uh for a quarter 20 and i ended up finding them so here they are um these are hollow wall anchor quarter 20s so these are i'm assuming chinese of some sort Oh, sorry. I will put a link in the description. So I'm going to try these out. Um, I did one already. So let me show you how this works. This thing seems pretty solid. The only downside I could see possibly is there's obviously it's um, you have a bit of a, a rise. So if you need something really flush, but I think for this, it'll be fine. So the first thing you got to do is you got to... Uh, you got to open up the hole to allow the hollow wall anchor to go in. So they give you this kit. So you have to get the kit because it's got all the tools. If you just if you just get the um, the pedal bolts or whatever they're called, um, you're not going to be able to really do this easily. At least not easily. So you need because uh, you need the tool. You need some other things. So let me set this up and I'll show you how this works. All right, so like I said, the first thing you gotta gotta do is open it up so the pedal goes in. They give you in this kit, they give you a step drill bit, and I'm pretty sure you just take it all the way to the end. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Let's see. Is it, it might, might be all the way to the end. in you want to get it as tight as possible so let me just do the other one too that was done all right, all right. Both, both done so put that one in there i'm going to switch the bit so it's so there's a that allen right there i gotta use that and then i gotta use a 17 millimeter uh, wrench to kind of so you lock it. So basically, do this. And I basically, what, what I'm doing is I'm going to um, 15, like I'm basically using the clutch at the strongest clutch, but not drill. So, right there. All right, let's do let's do one more, and then we'll we'll mount this. But it goes in just that easy. So I'm hopefully this works well. Hopefully it lasts. That's probably the big thing. Um, put this, get this in. There we go. The seventeen. Up one bit to get a better view. Ooh. And there you go.
mount it. So let's back you up a little bit. But that was pretty easy. in it. Just hand, 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 turn them in first so I don't cross thread them by accident. This one's fine. Oh. Try that again. That's it. It works well, guys. It works really well. You just need to do, uh, this was just kind of awkward doing on an angle, but damn, that works super easy. Oh, I just realized I got to do one over on the other side, but man, well, like I said, I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll put it in the, uh, I got it off of Amazon. I'll, uh, here are the part numbers. So you want the kit, start with the kit, guys. Like, don't just try to get these because you really need you really need the tool for it to work properly so there it is finished so, works great but just a quick video hope you liked it hopefully uh these can work well for you so thanks for watching see you guys soon